Well, hello again, and here we are. We're going to be doing practical 5.2, which is the properties of elements. And today we're looking at those physical properties of metals and non-metals and perhaps some metalloids we've got in here. So I'll just show you the samples we've got today. We've got sulfur. We have aluminium, carbon, silicon in the form of some tubing. We have tin, we have zinc, some lead, magnesium, and iron. So all of these are pure substances in their pure form. And the first test that we're going to do, we'll be doing five tests today. This will be the first video, so there'll be five separate videos. The first uh, test today is just looking at the appearance of each. So first let's have a look at the sulfur. Well, obviously you can see there that it's yellow. It's uh, dull, it's not shiny, and it's shaped like a rock, so it's pebble shaped, and you can see some dust coming off in my hands there. So that's the appearance of sulphur. You should be writing these appearances into the table that you've created in your workbook on your computer. So sulphur is dull, it's not shiny, it's feeling dusty, quite light. Aluminium, we're all familiar with this in the form of foil, shiny, light, bendable, silver in colour, so you should be familiar with that, that's aluminium. Next we have carbon, pure carbon here in the form of pure charcoal, it's dull, it's not shiny, pure black, again it's like the sulphur, it's dusty, it's coming off in my fingers. Um, it's quite light, it looks heavy but it's not, even though it's quite a big sample, quite light. So that's carbon. Next we have silicon, it's clear, bendy, I can bend that easily in my fingers. Uh, it's smooth, transparent, a little bit shiny in its form like this, so that's silicon tubing. Next we have tin, looks like a classical metal, shiny but not super shiny, quite light, uh, silver in colour, so that's tin, quite smooth. Next we have zinc, almost the same as tin, I'd say more shiny more blue in colour, a little bit more brighter silver, a little bit shinier, still light in weight. So that's zinc. Here's an interesting one, we have lead. It's very thin but it feels quite heavy for its weight. It's rather dull, dark grey, not as shiny as the others as you can see. So that's lead, PB on the periodic table. Dull, a little bit shiny, but not super shiny. Quite heavy. Magnesium. Fairly shiny, silver colour. Again, quite light in its weight. Looking like a typical metal. So you should be recording these in the appearance part of your table. So magnesium, shiny, silver, not super shiny, not much texture, quite smooth. And last of all, this is a pure sample of iron wire. It's the only sample that we have, so we don't have a flat sheet of iron. Um, so that's the iron wire there. Again, a little bit grey, similar to the lead, sort of a, a, a light to dark grey, quite shiny quite heavy for what it is. This is lead wire, uh, iron wire. Shiny, light to dark grey, quite smooth, quite heavy. So that's the first test for today, the appearance of the sample. Coming up next, we'll be the, looking at the polished samples.